Johnny, Johnny Fishlock don't steer you wrong. Oh, look at that. You don't steer me wrong. Yeah, Johnny, right Johnny, Johnny Fishlock don't steer me wrong. You know? <laughs> Every time. Every time. There we go. There you go. Another one on the break. Hello again, Fishalots. I know it's cold outside and it's the dead of winter, but what a great opportunity to load your boat up, load your cooler up with delicious fish. And white perch is absolutely one of those fish that is phenomenal come winter time. So let me share with you some secrets on how you could start catching fish right now and make those freezing trips out there absolutely worth it. Let's get into it. Go mouth, uh, creek mouth right there. That's exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice that's perch a right there. Yeah. yeah. Catch that one? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and so as you can tell right there from that footage, what we're really focusing on were these secondary channels exiting into a main channel right here. And what happens is, is grass shrimp and mud minnows and small crustaceans will get back in here on a high tide and hide among all these reeds and grass and all sorts of structure. And then on an outgoing tide, two things happen. One is on a bright sunny day like we were fishing today, these backwaters warm up quite dramatically. So this offers the perch some comfort in warm water on an outgoing tide. And also it flushes out those invertebrates, shrimp, mud minnows, whatever, right into the perch's lane right here. So perch can hole up in places like this, places down here like this, even places like this, where you're gonna get some warm water from the shallows and flushing out some bait. Those are ideal locations to start perch fishing. And before we get too far into it, of course, let me introduce you to the Fish Lock crew. A couple of familiar faces right here. You see John right there waving, and of course, Steve. And we're once again going to load up the cooler on some awesome perch. Perch aren't particularly fond of extremely fast currents. So when that current really starts to pick up, you can see we stick the nose right into the weed bed right there. And you're just going to find these spots and crevices and holes right along those marsh lines that these perch and other fish can actually duck out of the current and get up into. So what you could do here is you could actually drop the anchor in the main channel right along these divots and holes along these marshes and you literally could just flip right into the marshes and pull out some really big perch. So each hole, you know, you could pick out one or two perch and you could really have a fabulous day doing that. And this is exactly how you do it. You drop the anchor right here, you catch a few perch, you give it 10 minutes, no bites, you drop back 10, 15 feet, you hit the next hole. And then you drop back another 10, 15 feet and you hit the next hole all on the same anchor drop. It's just an incredibly effective way to cover a large area along the bank and find each little hole and pivots where these fish could be hiding when that current really, really starts picking up. Ah, got a horrible cold. Terrible. Oh, yeah. Right in time for Christmas. And you got to love when a plan comes together here. You can see we're way up into the marsh. You can see all the divots in those marsh lines where we're casting into, and John's going to pull himself out yet another jumbo perch. <laughs> yeah, just right <laughs> here. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Go on. There you go. Now, if throwing fish across a boat into a cooler was Olympic game, John would win the gold medal every time. Take a look at this. Boom. Right in the cooler. Every time. And so this is the same spot right here. And again, you're going to see it's just a steady pick out of each individual hole along that bank side. And the beautiful thing about this is you don't need a boat. You can literally do this by just walking across the oh, bank oh. and casting Something into small. these little divots. Something small. Oh, Looks like a perch. Ah, ain't that small? Ain't that small? There you go. Finally got one. See you. Uh... Looking at it back and forth. And your biggest secret weapon here in finding actively feeding perch is by far learning how to read the water. I can't overemphasize how important this skill is. It just allows you to identify all these underwater structures that these hungry perch are going to associate with. For example, right here, I'm pointing it out to Steve. I noticed that the current is acting much differently around this underwater point. You can actually see it right here in an eddy right in the middle of the channel. So I'm casting my baits right into that eddy where those perch are waiting for the current to deliver them crabs or shrimp or mud minnows or whatever so that they have easy access to food and yet they're staying out of the current. And we are just gonna catch a ton of fish off this hidden underwater point. You got some? You got some. Right there. In the current. In the current. 
<laughs> nah. <laughs> it's a perch. I think it's a perch. Fighting like a perch. Yeah, and my apologies here. There's a little bit of water there on the Man, upper the right hand Woo! portion of the screen. Um, turns out I'm really good at catching fish and telling you how to turn. catch fish. Not so great at keeping the lens clean when I'm filming catching fish. So, there you go. Yeah, it looks like a little guy. He did. That's like a John type of fish right there. Threw it in. Yeah, threw it in, got the fish. Oh, jeez. That's it. He's a sure. No size requirement, by the way. This is a self-imposed conservation size requirement. There goes John. He's on one. Yeah. All right, back you go, bud. Yep, got to be at least nine inches. Yeah, it was in, and he was on it. Okay. Got that sucker that time. Got him. Yeah. Just more action there. John's hooked up. So one of those jumbos? A little moon. Yeah, not bad. I don't know. I think he's a little short. I don't know. I think it's the same size as yours. <laughs> Damn, I might have a crab on here. It is, this, if this is a crab, it's a big one. So we kept them crabs. Look, yeah, at this point, we could have... Look at the weight. Either that or I got junk on there. I don't know. Maybe we got another big crab. Maybe. There we go. Let's see. Look at him Maybe. rolling in the crab. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I want perch. Big perch. I got a... Not crab. I gotta get you on video rolling in something, if, if you know? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna stay on there. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, three Yeah, he's tight. staying. He's he's hanging in there. I think he's on there. Nice pretty snack. pretty big one. I'd say he feels heavy. We're really uh look, he's coming up to the surface. Look, oh there look he is. Him, there he is. There he is. Another big he's one. Got he's got not letting go either. Oh, oh he, he let, let go. go of it. He let go. There we go, got one. Huh? There we go. Damn. Oh. Did you have a lure? No, it's a uh, blood worm. Uh, blood worm. I thought he was using a lure too. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. it's oh, keeper it's perch. One. Keeper perch. Keeper perch. <laughs> you get him in the current or? Yeah. Got him in the current. Man. Same thing, yeah, in the, in the current. He's going to prove you can catch him in the current, John. Yeah, they are. They've uh, they didn't even hit me. You can catch him in the current, John. There you go. Let's see. Yeah. And so you just heard some chat busting there between Steve and John, and it's because I'm pulling these fish what seems like right out of direct current. But again, when you look at that water, you could tell that there's a high point, there's some shallow water there, and those fish are waiting on the eddy on the other side, and I'm just pulling fish after fish after this. And that is the key to learning how to read that water. It's just so important. And so, of course, Steve is going to start launching right into my honey hole here that I found, and, you know, that's another way to do it. If you don't know how to read the water, just wait till Johnny Fishalot identifies where all the fish are, and then cast where I'm casting. <laughs> I cast it right in my right, right in my hole. Really? Right in my honey hole. You know okay. I got it. I me, just I just go over you. I go over you. I go over you. Let me reel it in some. No, no, you're good. They're on those uh, they're on those brakes though. That's for sure. There he is. Getting, there he is. See, they're on those brakes. They're on those brakes. For sure. Huh? He did more driving than fishing? He cast it out there, he caught a fish. This is John Robinson type Johnny of fish. Yeah. Whoa, 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 waves. Whoa, waves. You got me, I'm, I'm tangled with you. Yeah, I'm tangled with you. There we go. I'm wondering what the heck's going on. Let's swing up this. Hey, that's not. Whoa, no. A little short. Yeah, I think. Oh, no. I think it won't go. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Another perch. Yeah, it was a nine. Got to cast right into that break there, right on where the channel meets the, I don't know the shallows. There. Yeah, about there. Yeah. I was going to cast close to the grass. I got snagged right in there by the grass. Well, off the grass. They seem to be hanging off the grass anyway. See? Right there, jumped right on it. See, I told you, right off the break there. Just jump right on it. Says like. There you go, yep, yeah, right off the break. That's it. Johnny, Johnny Fishlock don't steer you wrong. Oh, look at that. You don't steer me wrong. Yeah, Johnny, right Johnny Fishlock break. don't steer me wrong. You know? <laughs> Every time. Every time. Every time. There we go. Got one. Maybe it's a striper. Uh, I don't think so. Mm. Just cast up front, John. 
A little perch. Big, big perch, little perch. I don't know if he's going to be our self-imposed nine. Looks like an eight. Let's see how good my my fishing carpenter eye is. Close eight, eight and a half. Close to nine. All right, let's go back into that current. There we go. Birds are busting wide open. There we go. All right. I got another one. Good. I got one too. Huh? I got one too. We are. Uh, this is a little bit of weight to this guy. Yeah, in the current? In the water. In the, in the middle? Got him in the water? We're in the water. <laughs> should I throw over there or should I throw over here? Catch him fishing in the water. Yeah, throw by John. Throw by other John. There you go, John. Johnny fish a lot. It's in. Johnny. Yeah, John. There's your fish. Oh, there we go. There's a little striper. We got to get him on video here. Let's see. Boy, that's a, that's a baby, baby striper. Oh, look at this little drum. Oh, that's a nice drum there. Yeah. A little puppy. And so that's the thing when you locate these types of spots, is that a lot of different fish are going to use the same structure to ambush their prey and to have easy access to food. So right here, you see John throws back a small striper, uh, catch a drum fish. There's a little puppy drum. And Steve is going to catch a stargazer, which is going to be fun. So stick by for that. But that's the fun of winter fishing, is you locate some of these spots and you're able to catch a wide variety of fish in addition to your target species. So you still got the stripes on and everything. We're called a stargazer. Yeah, that's a first. Yeah, that's a first. Well, just, well, don't touch his head. It'll shock you. And hey, so much of fishing is just busting chops. And Steve really didn't want much to do with this fish. And me and John just kept telling him he was going to get electrocuted if he touched it. So we're just having fun with it right here. In the creek. Yeah, that is a stargazer. Little baby one. Shake that thing off there. Let's go. Oh, look, oh, look how cool that thing is. Mm. And he's shocking your head. No, I don't want to touch it then. I want to shock it. Save my baby can. Light too up, Steve. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, like, uh, like Christmas. Oh, no, it's in the boat. He's going to electrocute you now. There you go, Stargazer. He got more film time than anything else. Yeah, because it's cool. We don't see them too often. <laughs> That's the first time I ever caught one. Yeah. Star <laughs> yeah, you don't catch them on one side, get them on the other. <laughs> there you go, I got a perch. Yeah. Perch there. Oh, I got one here. Got Steve's one. Got oh, one look there. at the side oh, of this thing. There we go. Oh, look at eat that. that one. Look at that. That's a keeper. Yeah, I think you can eat that one. Keeper. Yeah. Self-imposed limit. Self-imposed limit. You jump ship. Probably about nine and a half. Yeah, that's a better one. Some type of structure down there. What's now going? Jumbo. Yeah, maybe. Got the camera one. Uh, now I do, yes. <laughs> oh, man, I'm snagged again. No, yeah. no, really? Yeah. Oh, this one. I can't it might be a bigger there. fish right here. Jeez, there. There's something definitely here. I gotta try to get to the left of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, striper. 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 I thought it was a big perch. There you go. Striper perch fishing. Three of them. Yeah, I thought he was a. Uh, that was a big perch. And all right, fish a lots. We really covered a lot here on how to find your perch. But if you really want to catch some fish, make sure to click on this end card right here, where I share even more helpful tips and tricks that can really up your perch catching game. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you out there on the water.